Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so I shared this little um, embellishment book that I made um, a while ago and a couple people asked me how I did the pages here. So I thought I would do a um, tutorial for you today. Um, so this is um, made using the 3D candy bag holder die set from KS Craft. It's part of their 2024 um, Christmas release. And it's meant to hold one of those cello bags. It kind of has like the square gusseted bottom and um, you know, fill it full of like candies or goodies. And that's what it's meant for. And it's normally gonna be a little taller and not have this flat top, but I just kind of altered this so that I could um, do like a little bit shorter pages and then have a little bit more width um, up top. So it, I could have these like chunkier embellishments. So if you didn't make this, the die set actually is meant to kind of go together I just was going to show you with this sort of like that, if that makes sense. So it's more of like a triangular box and uh, super, super cute to hold candy. And you don't need to put acetate here because your cello bag is going to show through like a little, it's going to look like a little window and you'll be, be able to see the goodies inside. Um, but since I did mine as an embellishment book, I did actually use a piece of acetate. So we're going to do that today. Um, and then I included, uh, made a closure with just some uh, little pink velcro dots that I had and then um, this kind of opens like that and then I just added some embellishments with some uh, removable like glue dots and um, the recipient can you know pull this off and um, use it on projects so um, this is like a little um, shadow word that came in the Christmas um, die sets this is a super cute little um, candy cane tag. Love, love, love that. Um, there's two different sizes that came in this release. These little Christmas trees as well. So I do share the embellishments in detail on a previous video, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I added them into this little embellishment book. And um, just kind of, I think this is a fun way to do like a mini embellishment book not spend a ton of time on it, fill it with some of the goodies that you've been making and gift that to a Happy Mail friend, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is, real quick, I'm gonna walk you through this. So your die set um, is going to come with uh, this die set here, or this die, this die here, This is you're cutting out two of these, um, and I'll show you why we're doing a second one in a minute. So you're cutting out two of those, that's the front of your box. Uh, you're going to cut out two of these, and um, that is going to be the back of your box. Now, when you cut this one out, the second one can be shorter. Like, we don't need this bottom piece, so I just kind of cut that off. So we're going to have two of those, two of those. And then if you want to do the rosette, which we're not going to do um, on camera, you're going to cut out uh, you know, one of each of these. That creates this cute little rosette. And then I did not use this piece, but that's just a decorative piece that you can kind of add um, and cut down and add to decorate, um, kind of like to add layering pieces. And then this is for this front flap. And there isn't a die set for this, but we're just gonna cut a strip of paper. So that's pretty easy. And then it does come with this little shadow word that spells out gift. Um, we're not using that. And then these are just some little, um, I think like little tabs or, and then some hole reinforcers. And we're not using that as either, but that all comes in the set. Okay, so you're gonna cut out two of these, two of these. Um, we are going to, let me put the measurements here for you real quick. Um, you're going to cut out three um, pages. This is gonna be for these inside pages here. Um, you're cutting out three of these, so eight and a half. So you're going to go eight and a half by three and five sixteenths, and you are scoring it on the long side at four and a quarter. So just do that to all three of those. So those are your pages. You are, um, to do your page binding, you need a piece of paper that is five inches um, by three and five sixteenths. And then on the five inch side, you're just scoring that every half of an inch, okay? Super easy. And then if you notice inside here, I have kind of these seams covering up the seams there. If you wanna add that decorative piece, then you need to cut four page seams and those are three and a quarter 
by a half of an inch and your acetate is three and a quarter by two and three fourths. So pretty sure that is um, the measurements that you need. And then um, put this here. When we, so what we're gonna do with these guys here, um, actually let's use that. Okay, so what we are doing with the front piece, which is this, this is the front piece, we're um, going to cut on just one of them. We're cutting um, a half, or excuse me, one inch off the very top. Okay, so let me just grab this, and we are cutting an inch off. Okay, so let's just go to an inch, and we are just chopping that off, and we don't need that. Okay, so now that's our front. On our back side, so this is our back piece. Um, actually, I'm just gonna do it on here. We're gonna score, so we're gonna, um, let's see, how am I gonna do that? Do, 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 do. Let's go this way. So I wanna actually score this um, one inch from that fold line. So I'm just gonna kinda go to that fold line. Um, so that's, let's see, one and a half inches. So now I need to go in to two and a half inches and that should give me an inch there and now we're just scoring so now i have a, a one inch um i don't know what you would call that like top so this is our top okay so that's that's the main thing that you're going to do for now and then um really quickly I, I like to add my like my layering pieces first so let's just glue these guys on here. And you could stitch these, um, whoops, got a little clogged glue. Um, you could stitch these if you want to, but you know, just to go quicker, I'm not gonna do that today. Oh my gosh, I'm just clogged. I hate when these things, I love the fine like tip on these but I don't like how they sometimes just get clogged. Okay, so let's just add our glue now. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going too much glue there. Okay. And then we're gonna add our strip. I wanna make sure that kind of lines up. Did I get, I don't know if I gave you that measurement. Hold on. Um, if I didn't give you the measurement for this piece, it's three and five eighths by seven eighths. And that's gonna give you your little strip. I think I might've left that off. Okay, so there we go. So cute. And now you can cover the back piece. Just go ahead and measure that and cover that if you want. But I wanna leave mine blank because I might add like um, a little envelope or something here to the back. I'm just not sure, or a pocket or something. But yeah, I just, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now we're going to fold these on the score lines. Folding everything on those score lines, and you can see they score those score lines cut right into the um, the the die set cuts those score lines really nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna just attach this here. I don't want to go on the outside because I don't want to have to cover that up. So I'm actually gonna go on the inside of this um, so that this little piece can get covered um, later on by our gusset and our little strips. Okay. And I apologize if I'm not 100% in frame sometimes. Um, I'm, I always stand when I craft. Uh, if I'm filming, I, I, that's the only way I can do it, but my counter's low. So sometimes I actually don't see what I'm, uh, I don't see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that's, that's like our bottom. So now you can kind of see that this is already coming together, right? That's our little box. And actually, now that I kind of look at that, let's see, when that attaches, 
Hold on, I want to make sure. Yeah, that's going to sit really nicely. Okay, so um, that there. And then I want to add my acetate right now as well. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of glue around my edges. I mean, you could probably turn this into like some kind of sequin shaker or something. Um, like if you wanted sequins in that window, I feel like you could certainly do that. But we're gonna do this just simple as possible just for the purposes of the tutorial. And then you guys can kind of like change it up you know, take my tutorial and change it up. Okay. Oops, I got a little bit of glue there on that window. Okay, so now we have mostly this done, but I want to cover uh, this right here. And the way we're going to cover that is that's why we cut, cut the second piece. And I just want to trim down just inside that line there. And, um, about an inch down, uh, we're gonna take about an inch off, okay? So we're gonna do that really quickly. So let's do, let's take an inch off here. And I'm gonna go a little tiny bit more than an inch just so it doesn't get in the way of the box like opening and closing. And then we are going to cut off, so we're see right here where that line is? We're just gonna go right like on the inside of that line, and we're gonna cut that off, okay? And then that should allow us to glue and kind of cover up all of that acetate, and then this should still be able to open. So just double check that before you glue that down, that you left enough space there so this can freely go back and forth, okay? And then we're just gonna go ahead and Try not to get too close to the edge like I did a second ago because it always bleeds over and gets on your acetate. And man, it is hard to get glue off of acetate. I'll get water and try to like, uh, you know, get it off with like a little cloth and water. And it's just never seems to want to come like all the way off. Okay, so there we go. So now we've covered that up like super nicely. And um, that looks like really, really good. Let's, I think I need to come up a little. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So that's our, our little um, embellishment book. And then now what we need to do, actually let's move this guy out of the way. Um, and I'm gonna move this out of the way. back for you guys okay so um this is that page binding and like i said it's going to be five inches by three and five sixteenths and we're scoring it every half an inch now this is the tricky part it's not really that hard but the way you need to fold this so imagine this is flat um you need to fold the first piece is going to go upwards on the score line the next one is going down okay then you need to leave that flat and then you're going up again, right? Up again, and then you're folding back down. You're leaving that flat. Then you're going up at that score line. Then you're going back, and then you're coming up again. And hopefully that makes sense, but this is what you're gonna do. So now you kind of have like these little mountains and then valleys, and then like a mountain and a valley, okay? You need to have this deep, this deep uh, half inch valley here because you're going to glue in between like those little mountain peaks and that's gonna create this little like tab, if you will, that you're gonna be able to attach those pages to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue each of these little mountain folds. Adding glue, so there's another one of those mountains just upside down so try not to get confused about that okay so now 
you're going to push those two like little mountains together. Then you get your next little mountain and that is going to be glued together. And here's my next mountain and that's getting glued together. So it should look, whoops, something like that. It's just taking a second for that glue to want to stick. So there, that's kind of what it looks like. So does that make sense, you guys? So let's see, I have another one. If you want to see that one more time? I wish I wouldn't have scored this. Um, so here's your first little mountain. It might be easier to do this like one at a time. So I'm just, just gluing just that first mountain. Okay. So that's my like first kind of little page thing. Then that's my next mountain. And then that's my next mountain. Okay. All right. So now I have this. So it's pretty cool, honestly, how this goes together. So now this you're just gluing right in here okay and i just try to kind of center that so you can see it's folding up here it's folding up here and just kind of center this as best you can in between you want a little bit of space so go just kind of in between there so you're going to add let's make sure this one's all the way down i might let me just burnish each of these pages really quickly or these little tabs make sure it's really strong nice and glued together okay so now we're going to take this little kind of flat part and we're going to just add glue um, now i have seen people use hot glue to do this i personally don't like hot glue i'll glue embellishments down and stuff with hot glue that works wonderfully um but gluing on um, paper to paper like for some sort of book or like embellishment book or pages or anything. I don't care for that um, because I feel like hot glue, if it tends to get too cold, like if it gets really cold, it will, it almost is like wax where it just pops apart and I don't want my projects to pop apart. Plus if you don't like kind of stick it down quickly, you can get a lot of bumps and stuff in your projects. So this glues uh, when you use regular like liquid glue, it glues down very nicely and your part projects are not going to come apart. So, okay, so here we are and we are now, whoops, I'm going to glue this kind of right in between as best we can and make sure, and I think I'm a little over here. And it's okay if you're not perfect. Just try to make it straight. But, you know, if you have a little more on this side and then like a little less on the other side, that is not a big deal. We just want it to be like, you know, as just as even as you can get it. But it's not rocket science. This is not a big deal. Um, it's still going to look really nice. So there you go. Now we've got our little things that we're going to, our little tabs. And that's what we're attaching our pages to. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. So um, now you just want to decide, like when I picked my papers out, I kind of knew I wanted this one to peek through that window. So no matter what I put on it, it was going to have like this really fun floral pattern. Um, and then I thought I would go simple, like a simple one, and then go with like a really bold. Actually, I kind of like, let me see what this one looks like. Oh my gosh, actually, I like that. So let's just go swap that around. So that's going to be my uh, first page. So all you want to do is we're going to glue these. So I'm going to add glue kind of all over here, but I'm also adding glue down here and here. And that's what we're going to attach right here. But I also want to kind of put glue so my page is solid, if that makes sense. Now, if you wanted to create like some sort of tuck pocket, you would just glue like your page down here and maybe one side, and then you could actually have a little tuck spot, but we're not doing that today. So we're gonna go ahead and, let's see which way directionally goes, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Okay, so let's just add our glue here. 
and we just need a little bit to make sure this like page kind of sticks together and then this is where we got to make sure we have plenty of glue to really latch onto these tabs oops and then we're going to add just some here as well so we can latch onto those tabs okay and then we just want to like kind of set this down on that seam and then fold this down and make sure it's down so we're just basically making sure both of these are kind of touching there before we start I got glue on my hands, kind of pushing this part down. So now we're just going to make sure it can rock back and forth. Whoops, I got that on a little crooked. Michelle, pull it off real quick. This glue gives you a little bit of room. I think it's easier maybe, let's just do it toward on the back first. I feel like that works better. Now fold it over. I think that is actually a better way. Okay. Okay, so what did we do there? Oh, you know what? I think I might have cut this. I cut this. I did. Oh, I got it on there a little crooked. Okay, so don't do what I did, you guys. You see how that, I didn't even look because I'm on camera. It's hard for me to see exactly, but I, I got this a little crooked. See that sticking out right there? And then on this side, it's actually in a little bit. So now my pages are all going to be on a little bit not very good like see that right there but I'm gonna go back and just kind of trim that with scissors later I mean it's not that big of a deal but just when you're doing this not on camera I think you'll it'll be a lot easier um, okay so let's just add our next page It's just not working great today. So this is the most critical part is just getting this, um, these pieces down here glued. If my glue would cooperate today, Okay, hopefully I got enough glue. Okay, so now we're doing our next page. So I'm gonna start in the back. Get that on there and then, so you see how I'm just gluing that there and then just kind of doing that. Now, if you're not, um, like if you really need to burnish this down let me just show you. I would recommend moving the camera there is just like laying it on the edge of um, your table so you can kind of really burnish this down. Let's do this other one as well. So I'm just, I can't move the camera much more, but I'm at the very edge of my table just to get that kind of burnish down. Um, move back. Okay, so um, yeah, so then we're gonna just add our next page the exact same way. Sorry, this is going so long. My glue is just not cooperating. I'll try to unclog it. Oh, there we go, I think I got it unclogged. These little fine tip things, sometimes I think I need to clean it. Okay, just bear with me guys. Skip through if you need to on um, this part, just because I'm having so much trouble. And I know you saw how I did the pages, so we're almost done, almost, almost, almost. Okay, so let's see, this is my front 
and this is my back. So we're just kind of putting that back one down first, and then we're coming in with that. There we go. And just kind of make sure Gosh, this is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so there you go, you guys. That's it. That's how easy it is to do those pages. You can do that on any kind of book. So you, if you have a book going this way, like this is like a little book, you can do your pages, you know, that way. Okay? And I just have to go back and glue this middle one a little bit better. But, um, yeah, super cute. And then now you just have your little strips and you will just, you know, glue these in between your pages. I'm not going to do that here. Um, go ahead and glue those in between. And it looks like I cut these a, just a tad bit too thick. So I think for your measurements on that, try um, cut these actually three and five sixteenths, or excuse me, three and a quarter by three eighths and I think that would will be thin enough because I feel like now once we've added our pages that's going to be a really tight fit and you want your pages to be able to move and it's not going to allow it to move so just cut those a little tiny bit thinner um, I'm going to have to go back and do that but yeah so once you glue those down um, everything is going to be complete and then all you need to do is add a piece of velcro and that is going to make your closure right here and then um, I love that little window um, and you'll be able to see like your embellishments through there. But isn't that just so stinking cute, you guys? So, so fun. And I mean, I feel like you could even add like a little handle. I mean, there's some quite a few things that you could do to this. Um, and then uh, the other thing, the reason we cut this last piece, and this is just up to you, but see how we trimmed this one down so we had a nice... Um, you know, cover to cover that acetate. And then it also, you know, gave you this, like, I'm using like a shimmery blue paper. Um, it, you know, kind of finished off this. And then once you add those little strips that finishes that off, but now our back is kind of plain looking. Um, so you can either do, um, like I did, I used that same cardstock, but it, it has a shimmer and it's just not picking up on camera. Um, and so if I want to add that, I would just trim this down, trim it like right there, and then trim this top piece here, and then I trim just that little scallop part off, and then glue that. So you're just going to glue that here, and then glue, um, oh, excuse me, you're going to, you want to score that at one inch, and then, um, yeah, and then just cut each of these off and go ahead and glue those down. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when I did this one, let's pull this off. You can see I just cut that down. There's my piece there, and then there's my flap. And it doesn't match up here, and so that's why I just cut that off, that little um, kind of lacy edge. But it just makes it really nice and finished. And I think this would be pretty to do with like a pattern paper, but um, I just decided to do it um, with that, that shimmery blue paper. So that's it guys. Um, sorry that went so long, but, um, it's, you know, it is kind of an extensive tutorial, but really simple and super, super cute. So definitely check out KS Craft, um, on AliExpress and Amazon, uh, where you can get the 3D candy bag holder and you can make some little embellishment boxes, uh, like I did. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.